All right, what is happening y'all? Today we're gonna be doing a little bit different of a video in the sense of our rod selection. <laughs> this is the good old Zebco 33. I got this for $10 as a clearance price at a hardware store right uh, right down the road where I live. I'm gonna be teaming this thing up with some jerk baits. Now I wanted to find one of the most off-sided, you know, baits to be using this time of the year. And I think jerk baits are really surpassed as far as fishing wise. You know, this time of the year, you're gonna start seeing a lot of fish schooling back up. A lot of fish in the you know suspended and i think a jerk bait's kind of forgotten about as far as bass fishing wise you know everybody kind of thinks of it as a cold water technique and it kind of gets overlooked so we're going to pair up this little five foot two medium zebco 33 i even put the bass my old extreme real grips on give it a little bit of a little bit of flavor so we're fishing this original floater it's got a little red lip to it got this for $1.99 on clearance as well it's a pretty cool pattern black top shad side and uh, like i said it's got that red lip which is a little bit different three hooks on it though never been a fan of those and this one i've had for years and years two hook a little bit better for the darker water we'll be fishing today it's got green and silver flash with an orange belly and a black top so we're gonna get after it with this little 10 pound cajun line on a zebco 33 gonna have a little bit of fun hopefully not lose big fish because this thing is flimsy as hell and if we hook into something it's gonna be hard to set the hook in it with this thing but if three-year-olds can do it, I think I can handle the challenge, so we'll see what happens. Ooh, look at that. The drag is going out when I twitch it. So I put my own little custom edge on this Zebco 33. Oh, had a fish follow it right there. There's one right here that keeps hitting it every time. Should have seen how small he was. Would have been my first one on it though, but I can't, I can't tell when to set the hook with this thing. This one's a, this one's a suspending that stays at the water column, composed to the other one. Would float up. Luckily, it's not a hard fight, Holt. You were sleeping on the Zebco 33, I tell you. That's a good thing I switched jerk baits. That one didn't really even hook them that good. Like I said, that's just a suspending original floater compared to a floating. So, solid first fish on the old custom Zebco. Get him released. All right. So this is like we're fishing. I mean, it's pretty clear, but it gets pretty mucky as well. I mean, it, the water reminds me a lot like Westlake Toho. So that's the jerk bait. It's an orange belly with the metallic silver and green side. Really shows a good flash out here in the water. I have to cast this thing one hand. So I'm getting so tired. That was cool. This fish swiped him like four or five times. I finally got him. You might even be able to see it on camera, but got him right there at the shore. Wasn't even really paying attention to the lure. The old 33. Same same jerk bait. Small fish, but Another. Yeah, all right. Thought I had the GoPro going the entire time. Clearly, I didn't. But he hit it way out deep, though. Well, that's number three. I'm happy with that. 
12, 13 incher. That was a good fish, two pounder. Just couldn't get a good hook set on them all. Just raw. Hopefully you guys saw the, at least the jump. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks, man. I'm doing a little Zepco 33 for my YouTube channel, a little challenge video. It's hard. I've been doing pretty decent with them. Not here, but... God, that was a giant. That was a freaking giant. Come back, please. Holy cow. So hard to set the dang hook. I turned around to look over here at the other side of the lake, see where I had to go next. And that's just when you think you, you're not going to get them on a cast, they come up and, and smack it when you're least expecting it. It's jerkbait fishing for you there. Another munchkin. They piled pretty good off this point. I mean, that's it's five bites that I've I've got off of here. There you go. Yeah. Get him up, get him up. Woo! How do you always do that, huh? My buddy's wife just caught like another five pounder. She's caught a four, a seven, and five the last two weeks. She's been slaying them. How much do you weigh? It's a solid. Solid fish. I thought I just had one on there. It was grass. <laughs> all right. Wasn't half bad there. Not at all. Fire up the truck here. All right, so we managed to land a couple of good fish. And then, like I said, I mean, I, I figured there was going to be a couple cruising. Any lake I've been fishing in Georgia lately, there's been a ton of cruising fish. I mean, everywhere. And sure as heck at this spot, and not much has changed. There's a huge bluegill spawn going on right now. I mean, huge. So other than that, landed some some fish. Obviously, nothing of size, which sucks again. But we're getting there. We're trying. We're gonna try this last spot I'm pulling up to. We got about 15 minutes till the sun's totally down, and the malaria-ridden mosquitoes get after us. So we'll try to catch some fish and see what we can put together here. Well, the GoPro kind of works like a human eye. Um, if I can't really see. 
then the GoPro can't really see. Didn't catch anything along this entire stretch. Um, it's been about another 30 minutes that we've been fishing this lake. Can't put any together here. So I'm getting absolutely riddled with mosquitoes. So I'm getting the heck out of here. Uh, it was a decent day, fun day with the old Zebco 33, the old legendary combo here. Um, I don't know, I guess if, if you don't know what this is, then I don't know where you've been in the fishing world for the last, I don't know, forever. <laughs> the Zebco 33 original model came around and in the 50s, I believe. So Zebco has been around forever and this is just that legendary combo that you hear everybody joke around about. Oh, you got your Zebco 33 and it's got just a short little tiny handle. I mean, you can't fit but one hand comfortably, two hands if you squeeze together tight. Like I said, it's a five foot two, so it's barely nothing. So it was, it was really fun to get out and fish with this today. But it's so dark, you're probably gonna listen to me talk and tell me to shut up because you can't even see anything on the video anyway. So I'm gonna wait till we get into the truck. We'll talk to you guys then.